So the fight between you and Floyd, right? Take me through that fight, man. Because I do remember you being in the ring and you was waiting for Floyd and he had somebody what? in the ring performing. That was that that was actually the OJ's. Oh, that was that was the OJ's. The OJ's was bad. I like yeah, money, 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 money. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, OJ OJ's was bad. What was you thinking when they came to the ring? Well, I love that they came to the ring because I liked OJ's. So I was like, <laughs> all right, they're taking to me, you know. But well, I mean, it was all good. Um, you know, and it was money, money, money. I made like five million for that fight, so I'm good. I was bunny. I was cool with that. Right, right. So take me through that fight, man. How was it like fighting Floyd? Well, I mean, you know, it wasn't like it was like, oh my God, I'm fighting this legend or fighting this great guy. It's like, oh, I'm just fighting another fighter. So, you know, I get in there, you know, I hit him. And I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, damn, I, I rocked him already. Is it what, second, third round, second round, third round? I'm like, dang. Yeah, second. I'm about to, second round, I'm like, I hit him again, boom, he rocks again. I'm like, he came to take my shots. I saw like, it's it's a wrap. And the bell rang ding. I was like, all right, I give him next round. And it just it just never happened. Like I just my body wasn't this. I could you could see I'm really tight. I'm trying to like get to him, but I just my body wasn't uh wasn't hundred percent. It wasn't where it's supposed to be. So I couldn't get him. He had to be hundred percent to fight Floyd. Floyd was really sharp. His punches came out quick, jabs, right hands, very tricky. Um he had, uh, his power was a little bit better than I thought. So his, his power is better when you attack him because he lets you go into to the force of the punch. So I was, I was impressed by that. I was like, okay, he got a little power to him. We got to watch out because if I can't just run in there and be stupid because he, he can knock you out. Um, IQ was good. I mean, he, he stuck to this program, what he needs to do to win. You know, he held a lot. He put my head down, did a lot of little tricky stuff. We he's supposed to do. And, uh, yeah, he won the fight, man. I mean, he, he did. He he was great. He did, did what he's supposed to do as a champion. How was it like when he was walking you down in that Philly show? Was it frustrating him walking you down the whole fight? Because after the second round, he was walking you down pretty much the rest of the fight. It was only frustrating for me because I knew that I couldn't do what I wanted to do. It wasn't frustrating. It wasn't frustrating because he was doing Philly Shell or he was doing whatever. It was only frustrating to me because I couldn't throw fast enough. I couldn't throw hard enough. I couldn't move around like I wanted to. I couldn't do the things that I know I can do. And that was frustrating to me. Like, damn, I can't do this. Damn, like my body won't move. It won't do what I wanted to do. So that was frustrating to me because I couldn't counter and keep up with what he was doing. You know what I'm saying? Not because he was at Philly Shell. And the Philly shell really wasn't the problem. The Philly shell, him blocking and moving away, it wasn't the problem. The problem was all on me and what I couldn't do, how I couldn't perform the way I needed to perform to win the fight. So that was, that was the frustration for me, not whatever he was doing, not because he did a Philly shell or he tried to walk me down or he tried to do whatever he was doing. I, I knew that, that like, if I, was, if I was me, like back in the day, if I was me, me, he wouldn't have did that. He would have been, he would have been knocked out. And I know that. He would have been knocked out. I know that because in the second round, whatever, when I hit him, I didn't even throw really hard. I just like threw it. And boom, it was already rocking. Then it said, the other one I hit, boom, it's rocking. I'm like, this is the second round. I'm like, yo, <laughs> I know that if I was to touch him again and again and again, if I could touch him again, it would have been a rock. It would have been a Floyd Mayweather thing. It would have been, he would have been on the ground like everybody else. But I just couldn't do that. I just couldn't do it. So you believe if you and Floyd fought earlier in your career, you would have won? I think that if I fought him at an earlier time, I think that, let's, let's say it this way, I think that a lot of guys in my era, Oscar De La Hoya, Trinidad, uh, Ike Corte, or uh, anybody like around my era, if we would have fought, if it would have been the same era, it wouldn't have been the Floyd Mayweather. That's how that's how that's how deep it is. If he would have fought any of us like that, just think about it. look at the way how he fought Oscar. Look how how good Oscar did with him. Older. Think about that. Uh, people think that Oscar won. He threw more punches, land more punches. Right? Some people think that. Some people say they say, oh, that was a good fight, close fight. It was this and that. Oscar was way past his prime. I already beat Oscar twice.